Man, what a game at TD Garden this afternoon. Game one between the Nets and the Boston Celtics. A 2 7 matchup yeah. in the East. Is it me or those? I love those Celtics jerseys. Those things are fire. Mm, okay. Oh, give me that. You should wear a jersey. You know who had a great game? That guy, Al Horford. For hey, Al. There was not a player, Ernie, on either team that I thought did not contribute that got into the game. You know, Al Horford played well because that's the one weakness, well, uh, defensively, the guy. Obviously, this guy played well, yeah. Jason Tatum. But, there, I mean, Drogic played good when he came in. Man, oh, Kyrie, Kyrie was three. unbelievable. Kyrie, man, this dude ridiculous, man. Yeah. No, but this kid right here, Tatum, look at that. That's a tough shot. That's nothing yeah. you can do about that. Yeah, you got to go double. Yeah. Um, Kyrie. Get to the rim, pull up, off the high, off the glass. 61-61 at the half. Mm. In the third, the Celtics oh, put a little space between ah. themselves and Brooklyn Smart for three there. Yeah, he caught fire. He hit like two or three in that stretch, Ernie. Yeah, Jason Tatum there. Then Kyrie just said, I think I will just take over this game. Y'all mm. cannot guard me. Mm. Wop up. Uh, oh, oh, oh I'm number crowd. one. Okay. Whatever. Oh, got him. Tatum got him, man. Man, this guy. 96 85 oh, going to the him, fourth Kyrie. quarter. 8 0 Kyrie run. <laughs> Nets with an 11 0 run. KD. That was a hell of a pass, too. Brooklyn had the lead. Kyrie again. What is he cheating off him for? You can't let him go cheat off the other kid, Brown. So they had a five point lead. Oh, left hand. Marcus right Smart. Use his size and his strength. Man, this is crazy. That, right that's here. a tough, that's tough shot. That's a tough shot. Nothing you can do about that. Shake a guy's hand. Ky Kyrie broke the tie. Then it was 109 apiece. Shoot it. That's a horse champion shot right there. Right? Two time horse champion, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. Oh, good move. Nice play by Horford. Yes, good hustle. This I, I thought this was, I thought that was a dagger right there. Mm. Game had 20 lead changes. Mm, look at him. No way. 114, 113 at this point. I think you got to get a better shot than well, that. Well, you couldn't because he made sure, the pass. It was only point one, point eight. There's when he got the pass. I, I don't know why you're running the clock down like that. You mm. can't run it down. It's a hell of a play. One pass. Oh, everybody and, run. And Finish. Run. That's going to white. I'm telling wow. you. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if that's, if that's going, going to white, they may not get a, no, may not get a shot off. I oh, agree with you, uh, Ernie. That's yeah. a great pass. Yeah. But look how high the pass is. That oh, it's right in his pocket. pocket. It's right in his pocket. Okay, I'm just saying great pass, no, okay. but I'd like to ask the question. That's all I'm saying. No. Great pass. That's a hell of a catch, too. That's to Jason Tatum. Okay. All right. Because, yeah, because if it's to Derek White, I, I, I don't know if no time they would have got I, I'm just time. saying. I'm just Listen, saying he was Kenny. open to 115 114 is your final score. The Celtics take game one. I mean, four guys with at least 20 led by Tatum with 31. Kyrie was 39, 18 of those in the fourth quarter. Durant 23 on nine of 24 shooting. And if the rest of this uh, series is anything like that one, man, are we mm. in for a doozy? Here's Steve Nash. Uh, Coach, I know the Celtics won the game on a buzzer beater, but in your mind, where do you feel like the game was lost perhaps before then? Yeah, you could look at a number of ways. You know, there's obviously areas of the game where you want to improve. Uh, so take your pick, you know. Uh, proud of the guys. You know, it was our first, you know, real intense playoff experience together. Uh, we had a poor start to the second half, which cost us, obviously. But... Uh, you know, other than that, I thought there was, uh, you know, a lot of growth from our group. Defensively, what did you see overall? Sure, I know there was ebb and flow over the game, but what did you see mm -hmm. defensively overall from the group? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's always rash to say after the game, you know, until you look at it. It's never, it's never quite the same in your mind as it is on tape. So, you know, I, I think for us, you know, we got we got hit on the boards a little bit, um, and we we turned it over in the first half and gave them runouts. So, you know, you add those up in a, in a game that's decided at the buzzer, and, and it's hard to overcome. 43-29 rebounding advantage and offensive rebounds 
14 for the Celtics. They have uh, 18 second chance points, 18-11 uh, in their favor over Brooklyn in game one. How do things change in this series? I mean, Brooklyn's not going to get any bigger. We know Brooklyn is a confident bunch. I know they're in the locker room saying, hey, uh, we, we got down, we played well. KD's probably saying I, I, I didn't play my best, but we can still win. You know, the key when you're playing against a team like Boston, you know, they have that one or two punch. You can't let three or four guys get off. You know, Al Horford came out of nowhere. He played well. Marcus Smart played well. But Brooklyn still had opportunities to win the game. KD hit that shot. It's a different ball game, but they missed. Uh, you know, they rotate two guys to one. They make great passes. They were still able to win. But, but again, Brooklyn can just say, okay, they did what they're supposed to do. They won one game at home, but we have ways to win. We know we can beat these guys on the defensive end. We can't let three, four, or five guys get off. See, this is where I disagree, Shaq. I don't think they have one-two punch. That's why I think what makes Boston really good is that Marcus Smart plays well. If he's not, even if he doesn't score well, he affects the game defensively. Alpha, Al Horford stretches the floor. He can shoot the three. He's going to – Tice gets offensive rebounds. You got White who comes in. You got even guys like Pritchard who didn't play today can really shoot the ball coming off the bench. If you can't I, let those guys get off. But I think, I think they do get off. I think the, those guys are 8 to 12 to 14-point scorers no matter what team they're on. They just happen to be on Boston. So they have a bunch of guys who can get 10 to 12 to 14 points with Tatum and Brown. I think that's what that's makes the, them special, and that the, okay, took them to the next you're level. right. That's the average, but you can't let a guy that averages 12 get 20. That's well, 20 but, 20. but, I, but and, and, to, to pick it back on Kenny's point, the reason a guy get instead of 14 gets 20 because they're shading everything toward Tatum and Brown. So there's only six points, but – when you, because Tatum and Brown, they had a good game, but this dude done had 50, 60 points. I think the difference is you go back to the play in game. You look at the game today. I've said this, why well, I said this team can't win the championship because I don't think those guys, whether, I don't know what's going to happen. What are you this, talking about, Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Okay. Like I say, those guys both played fantastic against Cleveland, and it was still a six point game with three, four minutes to go. Can they have four perfect games? You see today, one guy was amazing. The other guy had a little subpar game, and they lost. And that's why I think those two guys have to play great. One of them can't play great. They both have to play great. And I thought you saw a perfect example of that today, to be honest with you. And I just think inside is going to continue to be a problem for Brooklyn against this team. Not only well, they, did Horford have 20 and 15, but points in the yeah. paint – 56 to 32 Ernie, Boston. They're not, you, you had a great point. They're not going to get taller. They're never going to be great on the board because they're just small. But they still have two nuclear weapons that if they both play great, they're going to have a chance every game. They're, they're going to get out rebounded every game. But when you have two guys like that, and like I say, I, I just saying it's not enough. The, the, no, KD had to play, he has to play great. Okay. Kyrie was great today, Kevin was under par, subpar today. But if they play great, they're going to have a chance every game. But they got to play great, not even good. They got to play great. Uh, Ime Yudoka's Boston Celtics take game one. Here is the Celtics head coach. You're reacting to the resolve you guys showed in the last minute there. And can you touch on just your decision not to call a timeout there before the, uh, the game winning layup by Jason? Yeah, the ending was great. I think both ends, uh, we got what we finally wanted offensively. Uh, they were defending Jason a specific way, and I think that opened the court for everybody else, especially uh, Jalen on that last drive, on second to last drive. Um, so took advantage of that, especially with the fourth start in the fourth quarter, 15-2 run by them. Uh, we figured out and, and battled back and got our offense going and guarded well when we needed to on that last possession. But uh, defensively and, and taking it on transition, not calling timeout, I tell the guys all the time, we have an advantageous position we're in. Uh, I won't call a timeout. If I don't like what I see, I'll call it then. But as you know, teams will get matched up and get the uh, lineups they want in the game. Jalen had uh, Dragic on him, and I love what he did. Uh, drove, drove, drew three people, kicked it to Marcus. He drove past two, and we got a wide open shot. So we talk about that all the time. If I don't like what I see, I can still call the timeout and draw some up with a few seconds left. 